Right, so we've just got this muscle food order. This is their um, February lean hamper, I think it was called. £55. You get loads of meat uh, and stuff. We thought we'd try it maybe as a one-off because it might be cheaper than our um, meat that we usually get from Tesco. I'm just going to try it and see. Anyway, it arrived. Um, yeah, right at this minute it arrived. Right, put my hand in there, it's freezing cold. Freezing, you can feel the cold air. Well, right. this was sent out yesterday, late yesterday. Of course, we'll take this out. Um, protein flapjack, I'm gonna eat that for my breakfast. Right, what I was gonna do in all while I do this video is open the chicken. Uh, a bit skeptical about it. Obviously, some people say it has a smell, some people say it doesn't. But I'm going to open it anyway. So I'm just going to open this bag. I'll just put the phone down. Right, that bag's open now. So, first thing I want to take out is the ice packers, see what these are like. They are pretty solid. Um, I know these are gel, so they stay frozen for quite a while. So, that's pretty good freezing in there. I'm also going to tell you the date of each item. So it's, it's the 28th of February right now isn't it? So first we'll take out the sausages and um, these are the low fat pork sausages. 4th of March, that's Saturday. Pretty good. <clears throat> Got a sirloin steak. This is freezing. This is this feels colder than our actual fridge. 5th of March. But obviously most of this is going to be frozen anyway. Um, you got some pre-cut chicken mini fillets, so you got the 7th of March, not bad. Same with this one. Um, some more sausages, Cumberland sausages, 4th of March. Might actually have some sausages from them, I haven't had my breakfast yet. I might have either bacon or sausages. Uh, used by the 30th of March, or bacon usually has a longer date on it anyway. Some mince. Looking forward to trying this. This is supposed to be a five percent stuff. Sixth of March. Yeah, my hand is freezing cold. That's unreal. There's quite a lot of ice packs in here. <laughs> that's another. I think that's two rum steaks. They are quite small, but you can see they've trimmed the fat off. Where if you bought it in Tesco, they always keep a bit of fat on it. <clears throat> yeah, sweet potatoes. I like them. They have date on. Oh. Fifth of March, probably use them on the uh, the old roast dinner. And kale, kale is probably use some of that on dinner and all. Patchy steaks, they're basically just like mince, like burgers, basically. Um, yeah, eighth of March, Pretty good. Again, some more extra lean burgers. Steak bags, probably just similar to the Hatch steaks, I guess. There's another packet of mints. Got quite a bit of food here. I rec we've estimated because the kids don't really eat any of this, it's just like me and my partner. Um, it probably lasts us about three weeks, maybe. Uh, I'll give that a go as well because I do like cheese. I've been cutting down on cheese, but this was a uh, low fat protein cheese. These meatballs, uh, 20 even meatballs that I'll do for a meal. Yep, 7th of March, and the chicken. The chicken. Well, that is, it is freezing cold. Um, used by date 5th of March, which is pretty good. Keep up my one up to 4. That's definitely, I think that's it. I'm really surprised how cold that bag, <laughs> that bag was, actually. So we're going to lay this all out. This is the £55 doodah. So it kind of worked out, we spend about that a month anyway, we buy um, like the big pack of chicken in Tesco, which is, I think it's something like 800 grams, it's about 6 quid or something, just under. We buy one of them a week and two packets of mince a week and it works out about £54 in a month, so I thought, why not just give this a try, with all like all the different things you get with it as well. Um, yeah, I'm going to just put this down. I'm going to cut the chicken open. Now, I know it's been vacuum packed, right? And they do say, they do send you an email to say that 
some of the meat as a uh, gas flushed. So I, I don't know what the process is, but um, they flush it with gas or something. It's, they do it in supermarkets too. But yeah, I'm just gonna put the phone down a second. Well, yeah, it did have like a minor smell, but like that's the kind of smell you get when you open a packet of chicken in a like a supermarket piece of chicken anyway. So that's, I would say that's normal. This is one of the breasts. It's, uh, it's not huge, but say if you leave it at room temperature for a bit, um, they should uh, plump up back to the original size. Yeah, it smells fine. It's just like the it's just the gas stuff. You can tell the difference between rotten chicken and that chicken. But yeah, I think I'll just leave the video there for now. I'm going to sort this chicken out. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I might do another video of the taste test as well. See, we'll see what we're going to eat today. But uh, yeah, if you've got any questions, just leave a comment. Cheers.